Use the substitution method to determine all of these solutions to the system. We are given y equals x minus two and x times y equals three. Because the first equation is solved for y, we will use the first equation and perform a substitution into the second equation. Since y is equal to x minus two, we can substitute x minus two for y in the second equation. This will give us one equation with one unknown that we can then solve for x. So performing the substitution, we have x times the quantity x minus two equals three. And now to solve for x, we first need to clear the parentheses by distributing x, which gives us x squared minus two x equals three. We have a quadratic equation. Let's set the equation equal to zero and see if we can solve by factoring. So the next step will be to subtract three on both sides, which gives us x squared minus two x minus three equals zero. And now if this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The second positions will be the factors of negative three that add to negative two, which are negative three and positive one, giving us x minus three and x plus one. The product on the left is equal to zero when x minus three is equal to zero, or when x plus one is equal to zero. Solving these equations for x, we have x equals three, or x equals negative one. But remember, each solution consists of an x and a y value, or an ordered pair, and here we found two values of x. So one ordered pair solution will have an x value of negative one. We still have to find the corresponding y value, and the second solution will have an x value of positive three, and again, we still have to find the corresponding y value. To find the corresponding y values, we need to substitute negative one for x and three for x back into one of the original equations. It doesn't matter which equation we use. Let's go ahead and use the first equation where we know y must equal x minus two. So when x is negative one, we know y must equal negative one minus two, which is negative three. So the ordered pair negative one comma negative three is a solution. And when x is three, we know y must equal three minus two, which is equal to positive one. So the second ordered pair solution is three comma one. So the given system of equations has two solutions, which we will now verify graphically. To verify these solutions graphically, we graph both equations on the coordinate plane and look for the points of intersection. So y equals x minus two is graphed here in blue. To graph x times y equals three, we can make a table of values or solve for y by dividing both sides by x, which gives us y equals three divided by x, which gives us the graph of the red rational function. And notice how there are two points of intersection. One ordered pair solution is negative one comma negative three and the second ordered pair solution is three comma one, which verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.